Hi, everybody. So we're kind of picking up in the last couple of videos ago. I was started working on the new versions, hopefully the final versions of the avionics trays, right, for the uh, G3X system. So the idea behind these is that, or the the upgraded version of these. So the first version just used the same holes that the G3X display uses to hold the trays on, right? So that's basically one in every corner. Um, I didn't really like the way that that was working out. I want the G3X display to be, uh, for its uh, nut plates to be, you know, solo use. So what I've done is I've redesigned the trays so that the four corners still use the original nut plates for the G3X system and nothing's changed there. So everything with that's fine. And these will be completely separate. Uh, what they're going to be uh, have is be held on by three, scr three screws on each side, right? Uh, I haven't done any more work with that, more of that to come. So, moving on, what we're actually working on in this video is a tray for the GMU-11 magnetometer. Well, it's one of the things I kind of allotted this uh, uh, aluminum that I'd ordered to, uh, to, to use. So what I'm making here is a two-piece uh, 90 degree angle set that's going to attach down on the right wing tip right so uh, I, this is actually modeled off of again another piece of uh, metal that you can actually buy from a very uh, familiar vendor there's actually a couple places that make brackets for this again one of those things that I just saw and I just said I'll just make it myself And there you can kind of see. So there's a there's an angle bottom plate that holds the GMU-11. And once it's bent, you can see me bending some pieces there. Uh, once they're bent and attached, uh, I'll go ahead and cut a hole in the side for where the connector comes out. And at the end of the video, I'll actually show you what this uh, looks like after it's been um, done. It's not that difficult, right? It's just... And, and you can kind of see it right there. It's just uh, four rivets and cutting a hole on the side and you'll also what I went ahead and did is I'm going to have four more holes where it attaches to the wings. Now the GMU-11 can be oriented in many directions right but the idea behind it is that if you look at it, it is a long skinny little black box. You have to treat the midline of that as pointing forward right or at least pointing in a cardinal direction so you can have this thing in so many different orientations I'm basically just going to be having it sitting flat, facing backwards, which is perfectly fine. But it still needs to be lined up to your direction of travel down that axis. Axis, sorry. So, while this bracket is technically square, or square as I can get it, uh, once I mount it onto the wing tip and we, you know, turn the system on and start doing orientation checks, it might be a few degrees off. It needs to be within, like, I don't know, plus or minus three degrees. So the nice thing is that I've got a whole bag full of stainless steel washers, right? What you don't want is when you're mounting this magnetometer, you want to use, you know, non-ferrous material, right? Stainless steel. So I've got some stainless steel washers, really thin ones, and I'm going to use them as shims, right? I can add them to the magnetometer itself, or I can actually add it, you know, to where the shelf attaches to the wing. And there I have all three axes of rotation, so all going to be good. It'll all be within certain tolerances, which I'm happy. Here I am riveting it up. So I was, I'm very pleased with the results. Uh, about to do a little demonstration of it here. Uh, in the next videos, we're going to be working more on a little avionics side things. Doesn't that look good? Uh, here's a picture of it uh, here sitting on my desk. I'm very happy. So yeah, still working on electronics and avionics for the time being. Um, thank you for joining me. See you soon.